I'm going to show you what I do when I'm cutting out patterns with cut lines like this. I just stopped in the thrift store savers and I found this sheet. I think this sheet is so, so pretty. I just cut out and pressed all the pieces for McCall 6930. So I'm going to be working on a pair of shorts. This pattern is from 2022 and I had to cut out seven pieces. There are back pockets, but I don't think I'm going to put the back pockets on. And I am going to use the fabric that I purchased or the sheet that I purchased when I was at Savers. There is a back zipper in these shorts, so I want to see how that's going to turn out. I've been working on the shorts as a muslin using the sheet that I picked up the other day and I cut out a size six. I didn't want the shorts to be too small, so I did decide to add one half inch to the crotch curve front and back pattern pieces. I plan to make these again, and I think the next time I will take the front extension of the curve and just take it down a little bit. Instead of a half inch, I'll probably do it at a quarter inch. Here's the back and then the back zipper right in here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish these and probably just keep them because I just love the fabric so much. I'm about to make the shorts again. I may view A, but I did lengthen it by one and five eighths of an inch. I think I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm thinking about maybe lengthening it maybe a quarter inch more just to be slightly longer, just a little bit longer. And I'm gonna be using this green fabric that I have been loving. I made a shirt and a jumpsuit out of this already. So with the shorts and the shirt, then I'll have like a complete short set, which I'm looking forward to. When I opened up this pattern, I saw these cut lines. And I remember when I first started sewing, these cut lines would be so confusing. So I'm gonna show you what I do when I'm cutting out patterns with cut lines like this. This is the cutting line for view A and B, and this is the cutting line for view C. So let's say you wanted to cut out a size 14. This is the size 14 line over here, and you want to cut out view A or B. So you would just, you know, follow your size 14 line, cut out the pattern, and everything would be fine. If you decide you want to do view C, however, you notice that the size 14 line goes out here, comes in, then back down, and then back over. So what I do, and I've always done this, I've never had a problem. If I was going to cut out the size 14 line and I wanted to do view C, I would just take a ruler, match up this line here, with the line up at the top and make sure it lines up really well and then I would draw a line connecting the two marks. I would just draw a line from here, Oop, it's off, but from here to the line down below to straighten everything out and then I would cut for view C I would eliminate this part of the pattern and then just cut on this new line. So you would do the same thing for whatever size you're going to cut out. The only thing you have to keep in mind is if you ever decide to go back and make view A or B, you will have already cut off this little triangle. So I don't know if you may want to just trace your pattern out or add this extension on later if you decide to do a different view. But this is what I do all the time and you do the same thing to the other side because you also have cut lines over here that need to line up. So if I was doing view six, I would just line up these cut lines, draw a line, make sure it's even, mine is a little bit off, but make sure the lines match and then just cut everything out. The pattern does call for a centered zipper, but for these shorts, I decided to go ahead and put in an invisible zipper, and you do have darts in the front and also in the back of the shorts. The right side of the shorts is longer than the left side, and so this is where a hook and eye will go in the back. 
So once I do that, all I need to do is hem the shorts and I'll be all done. These shorts have front pockets. They have back pockets, but I decided not to put the back pockets on. And I did decide to put in a snap instead of a hook and eye. This is the matching shirt. This is a new look pattern. And I only have two buttons buttoned, but I could also wear this open with a shirt under it and have this shirt be kind of like a jacket. So I like this look a lot. Oh, it is actually hot. So I'm gonna take this jacket off. So you know how I like sewing and probably a lot of you watching like sewing. I know this guy who loves Costco. Like he goes to Costco regularly just to shop and see what they have in store. And I think that is so interesting. And I was thinking about him because I'm actually on my way to Costco right now. I'm going to get something to make for dinner. And I really like their seafood. So I think for today, I'm going to pick up some salmon and I'll make that for dinner. I'm gonna put back what I got and get this instead because it doesn't have the skin on so yeah I think I'm gonna get this instead and I'll take this and put it back I've just been going up and down the aisle seeing if there's anything else that I want to pick up I picked up some chips and some sourdough bread I also picked up some stevia and I'm just gonna put this stuff in a bag Bread. and the salmon I already have the chips in here I'm just going to put them in a bag make sure I have my keys okay I'm good to go my husband thinks he can guess what I got from the store okay go ahead shoot your shot Fish, salmon. Are you gonna tell me if I'm right or wrong? Okay, that's right. Okay. Uh, sugar package. Oh yeah, I did. Yep, yeah, that's right. And then, uh, what else? Uh, you said four things, right? Yep. Croissants. I got bread, but it wasn't croissants. But yes, kind of, kind of right. And then, uh, I don't know, like the fourth one, did you get popcorn? Close. Oh, potato chips. Some ruffles. Yeah, and you know I don't need those ruffles, so I, I kind of had an idea. Yeah. I was trying to give you the healthier options. You did a great job. Mm -hmm. I know my way. Simplicity patterns are currently on sale for $4.99. I had a list of patterns that I wanted in my phone. These are the summer patterns, so I'm adding them to the cart. Can't wait to get these in the mail. They have some really cute ones out. I'm really excited about some of these. Choose format, paper, size, add to cart. Okay, I'm going to do this about eight more times until I get all of these in here.